Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. Tonight for dinner, I am going to make a couple of New York strips and I'm going to do some honey glazed carrots and a sauteed zucchini on the side. And we're going to also have some horseradish cream to go with the steak. So if you're interested in how I do it, then please keep watching. So of course we have our New York strips. Those have been sitting out. They're now at room temperature. You're gonna also use some carrots. I have a zucchini. This green onion came from our garden. I just picked it a little while ago. That's why you kind of see the roots still. Um, we're, we're gonna use some of this. This is some curly leaf parsley. I picked up some more honey. Here's my horseradish cream. I have some paprika. This is just a steak seasoning that I really like. Garlic powder, pepper, salt, like usual. This is pretty much a staple in everything. Olive oil. And this might, I mean, this is optional if you like Greek yogurt or not, but I'm going to add a little bit of this to the horseradish sauce because I don't want it to be so spicy. I just want to have a more mild flavor uh, for the horseradish itself. So that is basically everything. And of course, I'm going to use my cast iron pan like I use almost every day for every meal that I cook. You know this already if you see my videos. So let's go ahead and prep the meat. We're gonna season it. We're gonna let that sit for a few minutes and then we're gonna get our pan heated up while we are seasoning the meat. I'm going to move this stuff so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna start with my salt. I'm pretty generous with this. If you've seen my other videos, you know I like salt. I don't think I use too much salt. Some people do, but um, to each their own. So I just like to season both sides. And this is by Extra Fancy Uncle Chris Gourmet Steak Seasoning. I know I've mentioned this before. I use it quite often has a really nice flavor to it. I discovered it not too long ago. Oops. And I really, really enjoy it. I just put the water in the pan for the carrots and I believe the pan for the steak is hot enough now. The seasoning have sat on it for just a few minutes so we're ready to put it on. And I like to have a really hot pan when I cook my steak because I like to sear the outside really nicely and then I turn down the heat, cook it for a few minutes on each side because I like my medium rare. I'm just gonna cook one right now and then I will cook the other one when Robert's ready to eat. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started. The water's gonna boil for the carrots. We're gonna boil the carrots for a few minutes till they're softer and then we are going to drain it, glaze it up, let it cook and then it's gonna be perfect. And in the meantime, while that's happening, I'm going to slice up my zucchini. This only takes a few minutes to saute, nothing special, so I'm going to work on that as well. So let's go ahead and get the steaks, or my steak, on the pan, and we'll continue with the video. I've already washed my zucchini, so now I'm just going to slice it, and you can peel it if you like. I'm gonna leave the skin on. It doesn't bother me. I like to eat it that way. And then I'm also going to chop up my green onion and parsley as well. going to check my steak here. 
Looks good to me. It smells amazing. I just took it off of the stove top. It looks perfect. I cannot wait to cut into it, but I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes so it can rest and the juices will not come pouring out. So in the meantime, we will start the carrots. zucchini is a few minutes away from being finished and the carrots are just about finished boiling once those are finished I'm going to drain them and I'm going to add in either olive oil or butter whichever you choose and then our honey and glaze it so by that I mean I'm gonna let it cook for another five minutes or so just to get that nice glaze on top let all those flavors soak in and then they'll be ready and I think the combination of these vegetables and the steak is gonna be a perfect match and the parsley that we chopped up, that is gonna go on top of the steak. Or you can mix it into your horseradish if you use that. If not, you can just put it on top of the steak. Do you have it the other way? No. That's kind of okay. Here is the final product, and I did want to mention that the sauce, the horseradish sauce, was still pretty spicy even though I added the yogurt into it, so just keep that in mind. But here it is. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.